Our shuttle uses three NASA-approved, state-of-the-art QRD sensors for effective line following. Our line follower QRDs are protected by a 3D printed case. For smooth navigation, our PIC implements an adaptive PD control loop, which changes top speed based on recent line following error. We also have a QRD on each side of our shuttle, one for task detection and the other for T-junction turning, allowing it to refine the line once it returns from a task and turn in and out of the base station. Due to the grippy surface on the tiles, our shuttle's speed was limited the high coefficient of friction caused our motors to stall when turning. To reduce the friction, we added tape. This allowed our shuttle to reach higher speeds and turn better. The cargo bay is extra wide to facilitate easy collection of the rock sample. It is controlled with a servo motor and doubles as a means of directing the information relay. Our state-of-the-art compact space shuttle design proved not only to be visually appealing, but to also work well during the Mars rock sample drop-off and asteroid field navigation tasks. Our shuttle was able to make tight turns towards the drop-off bins and to navigate the asteroid field without worry of hitting asteroids. Not to mention, our wires were cut to specification and we were able to avoid a hoarding rat's nest. Our shuttle autonomously detects an oncoming asteroid with the use of an IR proximity sensor and steers away to safety by using an analog ultrasonic sensor. This ultrasonic sensor is also used to confirm the location of the service station. An IR sensor communicates with a solenoid firing mechanism that shoots out to the service station, saving more than five seconds on course completion. Main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff. This is We are proud of the results achieved with good software at the heart of our success. By avoiding hard coding, our shuttle proved adaptable to new layouts. Implementing a state machine organized our code efficiently. And finally, we implemented safeguards to prevent false positives and correct probable mistakes. While satisfied with our results, we have noted points to improve. In future iterations, we will replace wood with plastic to reduce weight, replace our faulty right motor, and test all hardware thoroughly before final installation. Move the QRDs closer to the wheels to avoid reading task markers as a line to follow, and replace the grippy wheels with smoother wheels. Thank you.